Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, today, I don't know if I would call it a fact, um, a fun fact, it's not a story, um, it's a random scripture slash fact that brings me to my theory that I believe God may have invented the idea of the boxer short. Um, I believe God gives everybody the initial ideas, right? He, get, he gives us wisdom and creativity, all that good jazz, but like literally gave the design for the boxer short. So, uh, so track with me. So in Exodus 20 is where we find the, the Ten Commandments, okay? At the end of Exodus 20, uh, God is explaining how if the average Joe wants to worship and sacrifice before God, this is what he needs to do. And so, and then he talks about how they are to build like the altar to do the sacrifice. And he's like, don't make it special and pretty. Just use like normal rocks if you're going to use rocks or if you use, just use dirt and that. He's like, but don't do steps. And he says, don't do steps. I'm going to read it to you. Um, this is NIV. But He's like, if you make an altar of stones for me, do not build it with dress steps, um, for you will defile it if you use a tilt to on it. And do not go up to my altar on steps, or your private parts may be exposed. Okay, so from right here, we are learning underwear are not really part of the normal, normal day. Okay? So then we fast forward to Exodus 28. And Exodus 28 is part of where the Levites are receiving all of their instructions on how um, to operate within the holies of holies and making sacrifices and what they have to wear. And um, every, all their clothing are made out of like pure linen. Um, they have to wear a special tunic, a special turban, a special vest, all this stuff. And at the end of that, so Exodus 28, 41, um, he's, oh, nope, lied. 42. And then he says, now make linen undergarments as a covering for the body, reaching from the waist to the thigh. Now, I'm not an underwear expert, but undergarments that reach from the waist to the thigh sound a lot like the boxer short to me. Now, um, people argue that, um, especially since the priestly garments were already made out of linen, that the Israelites got this idea from the Egyptians because the Egyptian clothing were made out of linen mostly because it's very cool and it's an easy textile for them to work with in their area. Um, and that the um, Egyptian priests had to wear underwear when they went before God. So that's like a common idea. Like you don't go um, to sacrifice, like you don't go as a priest before God without covering your nether regions. Um, you know, the idea of modesty and mankind being humble and, and covered before God. Um, so, but here's the thing. Whenever you look at, look through the history of the priests, especially during that time frame um, of Egypt, their, their garments, their undergarments are like loincloths, the ones that kind of look like, like the little diapers. Okay. Um, they're not described as like what we would say is a short. Is our shorts today, okay? Um, and then another commentary argued, like, oh, this is like the common um, garment that everybody wore that was an average person in Egypt. False. I beg to differ. Um, the average garment was a tunic or a skirt. It's very hot there. They had no desire to be in restrictive clothing. If you were a slave, you were probably naked or you wore just like a, like almost like a belt around your waist okay um but nothing that was in as enclosing as the idea of, sh of shorts okay um now um trousers were were around um so in persia we know that their cavalry, um their army but especially their cavalry wore the idea of trousers under their tunics because it's very uncomfortable to ride a horse especially for long periods of time without something like trousers on. And then, especially in Eurasia, so like, um, so um, it, where you look at Persia and then you go up into Turkey and China and um, Siberia, they definitely had trousers. Um, one, because they were all horsemen, and then two, because it's cold. 
and they had figured out how to not be cold. Um, but even when we fast forward to like the Roman period, trousers were not a normal, a normal thing. So when the Romans invaded Gaul and like the Germanic tribes, these guys were all wearing trousers and the Romans are like, this is like a really barbarian way to dress until they found out this is actually makes it a lot warmer. We like trousers. Um, so they were probably wearing like their little loincloths under it underneath. I don't know too much about um, Roman military garb, to be honest. They may have been wearing boxer shorts by that time. I don't know. Maybe somebody can tell me. But either way, um, so the constrictive clothing in anything that's the Mediterranean area or Canaan area or like basically the Middle East where it's nice and hot all the time was not normal. And Box, like these type of shorts that are being described would be more constrictive. So it wouldn't have been like a normal cultural thing. Um, I do have to mention though, they are, they are different than boxers. They're more, um, that they, they would, um, older commentaries would call them like breeches. Um, maybe think of like joggers or just normal, normal shorts. So they, they didn't have like a um, everything, they were concealed all the way up to the waist, and then they, they just had like a drawstring type of thing on them. Um, but this is, this is my contention, is that I think God gave us the idea for boxer shorts, because he was like, hey, y'all walking around a little naked there. Um, so <laughs> there you go. There's your uplifting, spiritual, informative, anthropology logical archaeological discussion biblical discussion for the day um if you guys like my videos give them a thumbs up subscribe to my channel um feel free to comment on it i'd love to hear your guys's ideas on this and thoughts all right have a good day guys talk to you later bye